So what have you learnt from this experiment up to now? I think we learnt a couple of things. The first thing is that um, when we started, we thought that we would build a standalone website called ArtMob and that everybody would come to it. And of course, why would they come to it any more than they would go to a town they've never been to or go to a shop that they've never been into before? Um, so that's why working with partners like Just So or Black Country Touring, who we're working with later on in the summer, um, and indeed anybody else who wants to work with us, are absolutely crucial because they've got an audience, or they've got the germ of an audience, and they've got an identity. And what we have learned is that what we're doing is providing a, uh, an, a literally an application that can sit on their websites, on their social media sites, and help them engage in a much deeper level with their audience, bring their audience into the heart of what they're doing, which is creating cultural uh, programs. Um, the second thing we've learned uh, is that when we interact with other people in the real world, we smooth over the bumps in those social interactions all the time. We uh, make allowances, we gloss over, we forget conveniently. None of that happens online. It's all out there painfully, obviously. And so what we've learned is that the experience for people when they go online and do something quite challenging, like asking them to commit to their idea for a cultural event. The experience of doing it has got to be really sensitive, has got to work first time, and has got to enable them at every point to go, I've got a question about this, uh, can you tell me a bit more about that? I'm not quite sure I understand, it's got to be responsive. So again, that's what we're doing at the moment, is building, hopefully, an application that takes, gives people confidence rather than sets them a task.